Let me try to help you out a little bit here with uh, self-autonomy, okay? Listen to me very closely. Listen, listen. Be, be intelligent and don't be so easily controlled by your feelings and emotions. Look, listen to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Listen to me. Listen to me very well, okay? Please, please listen to me. If I say anything and the first thing it does is it makes you mad. First thing, it, first thing comes up in your mind. He's wrong. He's wrong. He's wrong. He's wrong. He's lying. He's this. He's that. If that's the first thing that comes up, all I ask of you is do this. Be fair. Check out what I'm telling you. Don't go listen to what some other man says. Don't go listen to what some commentary says. Don't even listen to what your preachers, your teachers, your mom and daddy say. I'm not the one that has been deceiving you all of your life. I'm not the one that has shaped your theology. Set yourself apart. Set yourself apart. Listen. Pick up this Bible right here. Get your a concordance. Look up the word or the issue that I am saying. Only study the Bible, the concordance and the Bible, and see if Pastor. Dowell has been lying to you. Listen, I realize how strange I sound. I realize how off the chain I sound. I realize how out of bounds I sound. Believe me, I do. If you would do your own independent research, your own due diligence, no matter how offended you may get, no matter how you may not like my delivery, the one thing you will truly discover is, is I told you the truth. You see, religion and, and your family and everybody in the world, they told you what to believe. You never did check it out. You never did do your own independent research. You just chose to believe it because they told you that. But if you're going to experience what Jesus said you was going to experience, which, uh, which is this. A man's own foes is going to be there of his own household. You have nothing more to do than to just read this Bible and see what it has to say. Throw away tradition. Throw away religion. Throw away philosophies. Just read what this book says. Get a good understanding of what it says. Then go back. Talk to your family. You are getting ready to experience the rejection, the bitterness, and the hatred of your life. Let's just tell the truth. Some of you already know it. And you just don't have the intestinal fortitude or the heart to be able to stand on this word right here. That's the real issue and the trouble and the problem. And another issue and trouble problem is projected fears. You're afraid to preach and teach what this Bible said or minister or to live after what this Bible said because of the repercussions of this world. Because of the stigma of actually really truly following this and being labeled with some one of these designations or classifications that this world would give you. In other words... You are ashamed of Jesus. You are ashamed of the real Jesus. You are ashamed of the real truth. You are ashamed of the real Christ. You are literally ashamed of the real Messiah. Because the truth is, you know I'm telling you the truth. And if you don't believe that I'm, I'm if you believe I'm lying to you about anything, you think I'm not telling you the truth, tell your pastor to invite me up to wherever y'all at. And we will have an open discussion over what you disagree with me. And and, and your pa put your pastor there. I guarantee he's not going to take it up. Because they don't want to be shamed and show for the lies that they are. But you're going to find out one thing. I am not the institution that taught you fairy tales or lies. I am not the institution that reared you on these falsehoods. I used to be a Christian. I'm no longer in that religion. I love Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. He is my Savior. I have been filled with the Holy Spirit. I've been baptized in His name. Y'all hear me? And I keep the commandments. And for that, they call me a cult. Let's see. Let's see if you got it in your heart. Because the book does say, prove all things and the whole fast to that which is good. That means you test everything. You think I'm so wrong. If you really truly believe I'm so wrong, 
Let's prove it. Let's prove it. You're going to find out that I have been your best friend and I have been religion's worst enemy because Jesus was not a Christian. I dare you find it in here. I dare you find it in here. I dare you find it in this book that Paul said that he was a Christian. I can show you that he said he was a Hebrew of the Hebrews. I can show you that he said that he was an Israelite. I can show you that. But you will not ever find that Paul called himself a Christian. Neither will you ever find that Jesus didn't even know nothing about the religion of Christianity. Where did it come from? I mean, it came some two or three hundred years after Christ. Where did it come from then? Where did it originate? Where did Islam come from? This Bible doesn't talk about Islam. Where did it come from? Man, use some self-autonomy. Take my challenge. Do it for yourself and your own family. If you are a man and, and you're the head of your family, do it for you and your family. I just told you the truth. That's the truth straightway.